Rogers and the final pairing, Ty Babylonia and Randy Gardner, the Americans who broke through Europe's complete domination of pair skating. Ty is now only 22 and Randy's just turned 24. Starting back in 1974, as a very young pair, they began to challenge the world and were crowned world champions five years later. Ted, they were instructed by John Nix, who was also the teacher of Starbuck and Shelley. And I've always felt that they were very, very much in the same image as Jojo and Ken. That, in fact, they're the, the, the second Jojo and Kenny. One thing that I, that I will mention here is that musically, they usually choose rather modern and somewhat difficult music, which often alienates an audience. And I, I've noticed that in many of their skating competitions, that the music has been inappropriate, really, to their, to their skating, because they're essentially a romantic couple. they suffered a great career tragedy in 1980 when an injury at the last moment really prevented them from competing in Lake Placid at the Olympics and of course the Americans had high high dreams at that time that they would win an Olympic gold medal and ironically they were also victims of an injury last year for this very same competition and could not compete As a matter of fact, is why John Carlo came into the show last year as a replacement skater. This is where the music has somewhat left the audience a little cold. This is quite a famous move for Ty and Randy. There are very few men that are able to extend their legs in spiral position the way Randy can, and their spirals and camel spins and flying camels have always been spectacular. Ina Bowers together. Babylonia and Randy Gardner for the Pro Stars, their partner Linda Fratiani. Well, they cannot catch up in team standings. It's impossible with the All Stars because they would need, need over 10 points. We just can't do that. But it's still going to be very, very close. And here comes the throw axle. I really think that with Ty and Randy, they're a very, very fine couple, an excellent pair, but I think that they were victims of a very inappropriate and poor choice of music here. Music is so important. 9.85. Of course, they were contemporaries, these three, as amateur 9 competitors. 9.90. 9.9. They're going to get around 9.9 .9 or 9.89 or something that will still leave them behind. But anybody can win this competition still because the group program is still to come. And the pro team has 
stated publicly that they have the best group program here. Whether Keller Cranston and his all-star group can answer that remains to be seen. The group programs are still to come, and look how close it is. 13 one-hundredths of a point behind with that group program still to come. One nine.